you getting tired of your usual baking recipes? You want to be a better baker? Well, Anna Olson from Bake with Anna Olson is here to help you take your baking from simple to sensational with her beautiful new cookbook. Good morning, Anna. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, well, thank you for having me, Leah. Look at all of this yumminess, and it smells delicious. I wish we could have smell o vision but this is wonderful. Yep. So congratulations on the new cookbook. Oh, It's thank beautiful. you very much. It's beautiful. We've talked about how everybody loves the baker. Yes. You know what? There's something about baking. It's... You, you feel selfless because mm -hmm. you're baking to share, but there is a bit of a self, selfish element because <laughs> for sure. it's, a, it's a popularity contest. <laughs> for sure it is, and you're winning, for sure. Now, you're making some gingerbread for us this morning, mm -hmm. gingerbread cake to be specific. Yes, yeah. and this is a simple recipe. Throughout the book, I flag the recipes with little slices of cake. So Wonderful. a simple recipe has one slice of cake, and that means it's not a lot of complicated ingredients or tools, and it's a quicker recipe to prepare. Then you go up to three slices of cake where a novice baker can make it, but you got to make sure you budget enough time and you may need some special tools. pastry tools to get Wonderful. through the process. That is one of the things I love about this book because if you want to go back and revisit some of those ones, like a classic mm -hmm. you know, chocolate chip cookie recipe, it's in there. Yeah. But if you really want to challenge yourself and oh, get inspired, it's there too. Yeah, you can make homemade puff pastry, oh. a croquembouche tower, wow. just about anything. It's incredible. But as I so start the So what's the trick here? Yeah. Well, uh, this is a recipe you can make by hand because oh. some cakes are better mixed using electric beaters and you can do it right but I like that this is simple enough to do by hand I've Wonderful. got butter and brown sugar okay. and of course you can't have gingerbread cake without mm, molasses you cannot. Oh, yum. and this is fancy molasses which okay. is milder Oh, is that then, how that works? Okay. Yeah, milder than blackstrap, which right. is kind of bitter and a little too strong. Okay. And so I just stir that in and I'll add my two eggs as I blend it. Wonderful. And this is such a nice alternative to, say, like the pumpkin cheesecake, for example. For people who might have some dairy intolerances, myself included, you yeah, know, you, you can could, switch out the you butter. You can totally switch out the butter, you were saying, with a coconut, coconut oil. Coconut oil would work brilliantly. And this is also one of those great make ahead and freeze cakes. Oh, really? So, because it makes a big pan, a 9 by 13 pan. Oh, great. Yeah. Or else if you're having a big party, too, right? It feeds a lot of people. Exactly. Nice. Exactly. And now a little lemon juice. Oh, a little and, zing. Yeah. And I love using freshly grated ginger oh. in my gingerbread cake. It really adds a nice spark, a spicy component. Lovely. And I'll just blend that in quickly. And then we need to sift our dry ingredients. Do you want to give me a hand sure, there? Sure. I can absolutely do that. Yeah. We've got the flour. Yeah. And then a little bit of salt. Okay. Because when I bake, I like to bake with unsalted butter. That way, oh, yes. I'm in charge of the salt. You can control the yeah, content. Yeah, exactly. Right. And then, of course, sense. we need the spices. The combination sure. of cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice, and clove. And that's where that wonderful smell comes from, yeah. right? Yep. Should I stir this up in here? Yeah, or just, just sift it push through. it through. Or you know what? How about right over right the bowl? Right in here? And okay. that way, we're, we're more We're more efficient, efficient with our time. There you go. Look at that. Is this step really necessary? Actually, that's a great question. Because yeah. sometimes these little things, you think, oh. Do I really need to? Well, yes. and you know what you're thinking? You're thinking, oh, then I have to wash this. That's exactly <laughs> what I'm thinking. How did you read my mind? But it really does. Those are the little things that do make you a better baker. Because now oh, you're better okay. incorporating the ingredients. Shall I dump this in there, too? Yeah, throw okay. it right in there. Wonderful. And I'll stir it until it's Whoa. combined. Wonderful. And then the last step, whenever you make a gingerbread cake, it seems a little different than a traditional cake recipe. I've got hot water. Oh, what and, does that do? And we add baking soda to that. And the minute that the baking soda hits the molasses, which actually right. has acidity to it, it activates it. Oh. And then that's what's going to give the cake its lift. So oh. it's only a little bit of baking soda, and you can see it's frothing up already. Oh, it is already. And as soon as it comes in contact. So It One is chemistry, isn't it? It is. But you know what? I think that's why kids love baking. Mm. It's, it's a bit of alchemy. There's yes. science, but a bit of magic. Yes. You know, you combine all these kooky ingredients. Yes. You make this sloppy mess, and at the end, and then, ta -da! you've got the spectacular you end up with gingerbread. This beautiful cake. gingerbread cake. And you were saying, Anna, that this one doesn't have an icing, so it's best served with a little dollop yep. of whipped cream. But you can stir things into the cake. I like adding crystallized ginger just Ooh. to add a little more heat. But you could add raisins, chocolate chips, oh. walnuts, and even cranberries are fun. Something to bear in mind, though, yep. if you're going to add fresh or frozen cranberries, you want to chop them because cranberries okay. float. They'll well, go they to the top of the pan. Oh. So if you chop them, then they'll stay within the There cake itself. Go. Well, we are out of time, but this looks stunning. The cake is in this book. This book is absolutely beautiful. At Bake with Anna Olson if you're looking for a lovely little Christmas gift. Anna, thanks so much for being here. Oh, it's a pleasure. Come